Hello and greet from the Netherlands. Hello and greetings from the Netherlands. I'm the new Europe and I'm from the southwest of the Netherlands. First, I want to say please subscribe to my channel. Link is down below. I just wanted to do the same as Trucker Jazz does, but then on the other side of the ocean in the Netherlands in Europe. Secondly, you're watching TJV on YouTube. Subscribe to him too, and I would say enjoy. Good morning, everybody. Another new day. Got a fuzz on you there. Let's try that again. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Another new day. We're going to deliver these racks today. Had them on my trailer for quite a while now. Ugh, give you a quick look at them. So these are racks for glass. We're going to bring them back to the glass place. And then we're gonna pick up a new load of glass. I have a feeling though the new load of glass of glass will have uh, wood framing though, instead of metal. This is a little more expensive for the customer because they gotta ship it back then like this. And I don't think the ones I'm bringing it to in Calgary uh, use the metal crates. Well, that's okay, wood works too. I mean, it's, it's just sort of like a big waste of wood. You know, I, I, this way at least they can recycle the crates and uh, use them again and again, right? It's just, like I said, they gotta ship them back then and that's a lot of money. So I guess it depends how much they're making over there. Oh, but I got some pain in my back today. I've had it for about a week now. Oh, it's on this side, my right side of my back, right between my shoulder blades. I think I twisted it wrong a couple of weeks ago and I've just been waiting to go to a chiropractor and I woke up this morning and stretched and something, I don't know, something went out of place or a nerve got pinched. Whew, it's gonna be one of those painful days. Yep, yeah, but uh, I'm gonna go see a chiropractor on Thursday or Friday. Britt wants to see one uh, chiropractor too, and she's got a really good guy in Winnipeg. So we'll probably make a day of it, go into the city, get adjusted. I know a lot of people, or some people don't agree with chiropractor or chiropractorness, chiropract, chiropractic, going to a chiropractor. <laughs> but it does really work for me, anyways. It's always really worked so. Something's out of line, and I haven't seen a chiropractor in probably about a year or two, so it's time to go back and set everything straight again. But first, we've got to deliver this freight and pick up our new freight and go home. I'm kind of hoping that when I tarp this load that it fixes my back and doesn't make it worse. <laughs> sometimes when something sort of clicks out of place or you know kinks itself in the spine a little bit, sometimes a little bit of hard work knock it back into place. I've had that happen before. I've also had it happen where it makes it worse. Usually when I have a day like this, uh, I just need to go to bed. Like I just gotta deal with it for the day and then go to bed and then the next day I'm fine. But uh, this has been a few weeks already. I got a lot of pressure and it goes up into my head then. I start getting headaches and pressure in my head. And uh, as a truck driver, I mean, I was always told you should see the chiropractor somewhat regularly just because you sit all day, right? And depending on how you sit, it might put your spine out of alignment. Depending on what you what you feel, I guess. I'm going to go see one. Well, I put my sleeveless shirt on because we're going to be working outside unloading these racks. And then later on, I come back here and go inside and load up the load that's going to Calgary. It's a huge complex here. They got several buildings. So I wasn't quite sure where to go at first. So I went to the place where I usually pick up my loads and they directed me to the other side of their yard. Where they're gonna take these off. I have a lot of straps on these, as you saw. I sort of went overboard, which I usually do. I'd rather have too many straps than too few. Uh, so it'll take me a little while to get them all off. And wound back up and put away properly. I like them to be all nice and neat and organized in my cubby hole there. So that all the shorter straps are near the front because sometimes you just need one or two short straps, right? And I like to be able to have access to them. I don't want them to be, them to be buried way at the back. And I try to save my newer, better straps so that they last longer. But oh, that water is gonna fall out of there. I gotta fix that. Here's more of those racks off to the left that I have on my 
truck right now. I guess this is where they're gonna store them. But I was told to go around this building, still snaking our way through their complicated, busy, this is a huge business. Like, I wonder what it's worth. It's worth a few billion dollars, I bet. It's very nice, very neat. Everything's very organized. Everything's very clean. can tell that this business takes pride in its equipment and buildings. So apparently I'm unloading here, to the left, just in front of these doors, I guess. Somewhere here. All right, I'm gonna park here in the open and uh, I don't, know if I don't think they want me blocking all these garage doors off to my left, but... I got a pretty good start on this here. Okay, so we'll start with this here and work our way down. loaded and I went to a quick trip truck stop just down the road I had about seven hours left on my clock I could have almost made it home tonight yet but look at my load and look at my trailer that's a lot of empty space Look at all this. Look at all this empty space. So, I talked to the people. I talked to my people who talked to their people. And my people told me, maybe I should just hang tight here tonight. And tomorrow, they're going to try to find something to fill up all this empty space. Because it's kind of a waste pulling this trailer all the way to Calgary. I'm getting paid a full load. For just this little bit here, this is my entire load. I'm getting paid as if this trailer was completely full. But seeing as I have all this space up here yet, and all that space back there yet, it's it'd be kind of a shame not to throw something else on there, right? So tomorrow morning, or tomorrow all day, they're going to be looking for something to fill up that space. Sometimes it can be hard to find an LTL or LTL freight. Uh, it's called less than truckload because usually people want to ship a full truckload or order a full truckload. But you know, it's uh, it's all gravy. Whatever we can find to put on the back here, that's all gravy because everything's already paid and covered just with this stuff here. Anything else we put on there is just money in the bank. And seeing as I get a percentage of everything that's on my trailer, it's in my best interest to stay here tonight and just hang out and see what they got for us tomorrow i have a feeling i'll be here till tomorrow afternoon uh, i'll be up in the morning and on the phone with them and uh we'll see what happens that's the plan for tonight though it is a beautiful evening here though just beautiful this is still owatona or owatona however you pronounce it I got a good spot here where I'm like right on the edge. I don't know what that car is doing there. I kind of hope he stays there because then a semi won't park there. And uh, I'm right on the edge here. My neighbor beside me here went into his spot backwards from me. So even if he does decide to idle, which it seems like he's not an idler, he's from Florida. So this temperature here is probably pretty cool for him. He probably won't need to turn his air conditioner on. But if he does idle, I mean, it's not right beside my sleeper, so it's gonna be a nice quiet night. 
happy with it. I just, I love June. I think, I think June is my official favorite month of the year. The days are super long, like daylight hours are super long. The weather is great, everything is green, even the fields, they're all green. Oh, you can't really see it because of the sun over there. You know, in July and August are nice. They're hot, but August, you know, the crops start to ripen. They start turning brown, which means that the combines are gonna be out there harvesting it soon. And once the combines are out there harvesting their crops, you know that you know, winter's on the way. And it's a little bit not as nice as the feeling you get in June with the promise of the whole summer in front of you yet. It's too bad time goes by so quickly in summertime. In winter, I'm okay with it going by quickly, but I wish time would slow down a little bit in summertime. I'm gonna have to start thinking about new tires. Probably, uh, maybe even before winter. I was hoping these would make it through another winter. They might, they might, but uh, these are uh, Bridgestone, uh, not, pardon me, BF Goodrich. Uh, 22 and a half 11 are 22 and a half DR triple four they've been a good tire for me but uh, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to replace them they're about four hundred dollars a tire something like that so that's eight hundred dollars you're looking at right there another eight hundred so sixteen hundred dollars right here just on this side, well, you know, you gotta replace the other side too. So that's fun. Each steer tire, uh, this last steer tire I got, I got for, what was it, $665 Canadian, so that's probably close to $500 American, which is a pretty good deal. I, I got it through the company and they get a, a they get a bulk deal, I think, because they buy a lot of tires at once. So I think it's a little bit cheaper, but they do go as high as $900 Canadian a tire. Uh, so these, these tires aren't cheap. <laughs> Not at all, but some would say they're necessary. But I mean, everything is so expensive. I mean, everything you see here hanging off the back of my truck, that's probably, I'm gonna get, say about a thousand dollars worth because I got a, a bit of equipment in that little door in the center there yet that opens up I got all my corners down here yet these bungees the ladder all the binders the chains you know the airlines connecting up to here it's uh yeah, probably at least a thousand dollars maybe more these fenders here too are not cheap they're pretty expensive even though they're the cheap ones you know the, the plastic ones they were put on by the owner, uh, previous owner. They were on there when I got it, but it is sort of essential to have at least fenders on your front tires like this. I would like them to go over the whole thing, but it's to save your truck because the tires, otherwise they throw rocks and dirt and grime straight at your truck. And if you don't have this headache rack here, it'll dent up the back of your truck and stuff and it does make everything a lot dirtier. But I would like to eventually on the truck, not this truck, but one day on when I get the truck that I want, the W900, I want the full fender package so that my truck stays a lot cleaner. The truck I actually want, I've told you guys this uh, quite a few times, that is actually not this truck. This truck is just, uh, it's a work truck, that's all it is, it's a tool to me, it's not exactly what I want but it's a, a tool that's gonna get me into the truck that I want, which is a, a W900, a Kenworth W900L with an 86 inch studio sleeper with a 285 inch wheelbase or somewhere nearby there. I can't go past 285. I think that's the legal limit for in Canada, but uh, as long of a wheelbase as I can. And from there, I just wanna add more and more chrome. I'm hoping to get one in, uh, oh, I don't know probably gonna be like five to ten years I'm probably around five years I'm guessing five years but uh, no rush or anything whenever we whenever it works out I got a bunch of other things I'm taking care of first and you know I'm trying to get us completely debt-free before we're 40 so I'm 31 now so nine years I'm hoping to have everything including our house paid off 
but at the same time I'm gonna have to buy a new truck somewhere in there so I may still have a truck payment but hopefully everything else will work out I'm really hoping that I would, I would just love to just be completely free from mortgages car loans truck loans everything credit cards and right now we're on a good path we're on a good path to be debt free around 40 and then you know we have the next couple of decades to put money away and save for retirement so that we can actually afford to have a decent retirement and enjoy our senior years and not pinch pennies because Canada pension isn't exactly isn't exactly five star I would say but so I'm gonna show you how I install these screens on the windows because it's getting kind of hot in here and I don't want to idle my truck all night so this is where I keep them ah come on there we go just like this This thing here, can you see? <laughs> Swings down and around. It goes in there like that, locks in, and there you go. You can have the window half open, but not have to worry about people reaching in and don't have to worry about bugs getting in. It's very convenient, actually. You can get a nice airflow through here. I really like these. I've made good use of them already this year. I found them on Amazon. They were a little pricey though. I mean, it's cheap. It's cheap plastic. I'm not very uh, impressed with the quality of it for the price. I think it was about uh, was it 60 or $80 American, 60 somewhere in there for the two sides. Wasn't too happy with that, but they do a good job. So I am happy with that part of it. They could just lower their prices quite a bit, and uh, I think that would make a lot of sense. And here you can see they have lines that you can cut with numbers on it, right? So it tells you which numbers for which truck, and uh, you go to your truck and the number and you cut along the line and it'll fit your window perfectly. I was lucky enough that they came specifically made for Volvos, so I didn't have to make any cuts. He's your... Diesel, you good boy. You good boy. You are a good boy. You know what? You notice how I'm not asking if you're a good boy today? I'm telling you, you're a good boy. Look at all these people. All these people watching love you. Love you more than they love me, man. I smile. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, man. I'm a big deal. Wish I was a weasel. <laughs> are you still warm, buddy? I can feel the breeze coming through here. It'll get, it'll cool down real quick. Yeah, and if it doesn't cool down enough, I'll, I'll, I'll start the truck and blast the AC for you. How's that sound? Yes, fantastic, fantastic, man. Hey, so uh, tomorrow we might get some more freight, and then after that, we might go home. Yeah. Oh, you want to go home? You wanna see mom? You wanna see Frankie? You wanna see Chevy? Do you miss them? Do you miss them? Tell, tell me, who do you miss more? Who do you miss more? I miss them this much. That was a good stretch. I hate to see him getting old. I hate to see me getting old. We're both getting old, man. We're both getting there. I remember when I was a kid, I thought 31 was old. I still feel like a young spring chicken. My body disagrees with me, but in my brain and in my heart, I feel young still. Right, Diesel? Diesel, this summer in uh, August is going to be eight years old. Oh, good burp, good burp. It's okay, man, you're a senior now. You're allowed to burp and fart whenever you want. Good boy. Eight years old. It's actually, you're not that old yet, but but it's gonna set in quickly. He's already got quite a bit of a gray around his mouth there. 
You've been such a good thing in my life, you know? You've been such a good thing. You know, until mom came in here without Brit, it was just me and you, and I don't think I could have made it. I don't think I would have made it, man. Now we got a whole family? You still a little warm, buddy? Here. Okay, let's let's blast the AC in your face here for a little bit. Okay, buddy, one sec. Let me close these off here on this side. There you go, buddy. There, there you go. Oh, that feels good, I bet. There you go, here. Before you know it, the sun will be down and it'll cool down fast. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Remember, if you want to be included in my videos and you want your intro at the beginning of my videos, please send it to tjv at email.com. The email is down below in the description. Love to include you in my video if you would like to. If you'd like to be, uh, in, if you'd like to be involved with it, it'd be great. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. Hi, I'm Bruce from Gloucester, Virginia. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Make sure you like his videos, subscribe. Let's get him over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks. Thanks.